This week I want to speak about charisma. It is something that you can develop and you need to develop, especially if you are right now out of work or you're looking for a new job or a promotion. You can have those God-given qualities come through you and you can be a person that is a person of charisma. You've heard the old saying, well, he was a charmer. Well, that really means that he was filled with charisma. Many people think that people are just born with this, but more often it is a developed trait. It is a trait that can be developed in you. What does it mean to have charisma? There are three components that I'm going to share with you at the first of the week. The first is presence. You have all seen people where when they come into a room, they literally galvanize the atmosphere. There is an electricity that is around them. They have presence. And when you speak with them, I want you to watch the way they make you feel. They make you feel as if you're the only one in the room. They're not distracted. They are truly present. That's what presence is. The second is power. Now, that doesn't mean that you're a CEO, but rather that you broadcast a confidence. And the third is warmth, a real warmth not faked, a real warmth. It is the ability to express goodwill, love, and empathy. And these qualities are qualities that you can develop. People think that charisma is in people from the very beginning, at birth. But most people develop this as they go on in their life. Some people develop it after they become successful. Look at Steve Jobs, for instance. Steve Jobs, if you watch videos of him speaking from 1984 and onward, you will see him develop charisma, develop confidence, poise, and warmth, in his voice. How can people easily give their charisma a boost? Now I'm going to give you some things you can do beginning this week. First of all, keep a relatively still body language when you're speaking or listening with another person. Give them your total attention. Often we're so much absorbed with us, we're thinking about what we're going to say next that we are distracted. We're nodding, we're looking to the side, we're not giving them eye contact because we're more focused on ourselves. Become more focused on them. Excessive nodding or fidgeting can make you appear as if you really don't want to be with the person that you're with. It can make you also appear impatient, insecure, or nervous. Also, when someone asks you a question, wait one or two seconds before answering. Often when we are thinking of what we're going to say next, we even override their last sentence. You ponder what they're saying. You take it inside. Again, this can't be faked. It has to be serious, sincere. Charisma is not just about others' perceptions of you. People think it is, and that's a mistake. Instead, it's about how you feel about others and how you make them feel about themselves. That brief pause, waiting a second or two before answering their question. Well, it makes the other person feel that you're really listening. And 
that the question was so weighty, so smart, that you need to gather your thoughts before you respond. These ideas have been taken from the new book, The Charisma Myth. And I ask you to, to develop this this week in yourself so that you can go on to greater success immediately in your life. And you do it by your presence in how you make the other person feel. God bless you.